Hi folks and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about this PLC. It's an F1 PLC developed originally during the 1980s and it's expected after 30 or more years of uh, operation to this PLC to start to fail. And the point is how to extract the program that's inside this PLC if the only port we have is this blue port for communication. So this blue port originally was made for this type of keyboard that was the tool used to program these PLCs in the beginning. So after some time this keyboard was developed, uh, Melsec Medoc software was launched and it's possible to communicate with this PLC using Melsec Medoc. And that's what I'm going to explain in this video. So stay tuned and I will explain how to do that. Well, uh, so here we have uh, our F1 PLC and the first thing you must prepare is a converter like this. You can find some of this on the internet, uh, on eBay or some other auction site because this is very old. And when you open the box you have basically this converter. And this is what we're going to use to convert from this blue port to a serial port. For the case of F1, we don't use any of these um, EEPROM memories. And after we uh, install this converter on the top of um, this F1 PLC, we will have access to this DB25 port that's actually RS422 port. And with this RS422 port, we can do the programming stuff. So, first thing we do, we'll put this aside, we will not use those ROMs as I said. So, we have to install this on top. So, try not to tilt it when you install, just put it straight and uh, be sure that those locks are to the right position and just install it just at once pressing down and that's it you can lock those and it's safer and there we go so after that this RS422 port has the same pin configuration as the old APLC and the old FX PLC, the big ones, uh, like uh, FX2, FX2C, so it's the same port. So, knowing about that, we can use a converter like this. This is SC09, uh, made by uh, Myers, and um, of course, we have the option to use this port that's RS422, and we could plug it directly into this uh, F220 GF1 port. But there's one important point here. This F220 GF1 is not able to power the converter that's inside this connector. We must do an adapter here just to power this converter. I will just power the PLC. Okay, as you can see here the power LED is on and also we have F, F1, F2 LED also um, on here. Of course the run LED is not on because the program that's inside here is not running but this doesn't matter. The important point is if I plug this cable in here you will see, you will notice that this green LED does not lit. Okay, this is because this converter is not able to power this converter. So in order to overcome this problem I prepared this. Okay, so um, basically this is a connector that um, just passes its one side uh, female and the other side is male gender and uh, it passes some of the vias here, the pins directly from one connector to the other. 
but the difference between these two is that in the side that we connect this converter here we have this um, power jack as you can see here so this power jack I prepared a 5 volt power supply I put a uh, plug here and uh, actually what I do with this power supply is that I power I put power to the uh, converter that we have here so I just put an LED here also to check if the power is coming and that's it so in order to make this set to work I have to I will just close it here I just kept it open just to show you and uh, we must put this converter here of course there's no power that's coming inside this um, adapter F220 GF1 and the power only goes to the converter that's actually my SC09 cable that goes on the top of this adapter okay so after doing that if I plug my power like so you will see that this LED is on as well as this LED is on meaning that we are supplying power to this converter so this is the first step you must do and this side that 232 goes to your computer but it's not all the computers and um, actually almost none of all the computers we have now in the market um, have such as this connector or RS232 so also you have to prepare an USB to RS232 um, adapter okay so this goes to this adapter and finally this goes to your PC okay so just putting all together we have here F220 GF1 that's the converter that converts from the blue connector from F1 PLC to RS422 then we have this adapter here that actually copies the pins from one side to the other except for the power pins that I supply power to this converter if by chance you don't have or you cannot get a converter like this I will explain you in another video that I put a link here on the top about how to read the program using this keyboard so it's more tedious process you go step by step reading all the instructions put it in a paper and then you convert it to a letter it's also possible to do but if you have this tool in your hand but you don't have uh, this tool with you you can also use this uh, keyboard but uh, of course I will explain it in another video okay so for, for this video we will go from this step assuming that we have all this assembled okay so after I set my hardware next step is the software so I have here opened my uh, virtual machine with with Windows XP and the Medoc installed the Melsec Medoc so before we dive in Melsec Medoc, first thing I will bind my serial USB converter that I have plugged in my USB port to this virtual machine. And uh, to do that, I go here in Devices, and then I go to USB, and then make sure that uh, your uh, USB serial port is with this uh, check mark. If it's not, you just click it and this check mark must appear here of course remember to install the driver for your USB serial port in the virtual machine so you will not have problems with communication so after that I need to know where my uh, serial port was allocated so I go to um, control panel and then I go to system hardware hardware manager and then I go to ports 
and now you will find here USB serial port and in my case it's allocated on COM3. So I will close this, I'll have this information COM3 and then I will open MelsecMedoc. So let's dive in now in uh, MelsecMedoc. So in MelsecMedoc, uh, forget about your mouse, you're not going to use it. And our purpose here will be to transfer my uh, software that's inside the PLC to my uh, PC here. So to do that, first thing, uh, we use our arrow keys from our keyboard to navigate here, uh, right and left. And then I will use uh, Enter key to select the option, the option I want. So first thing, we go to Start, press Enter. Then I go to New Project. I will select the PLC, that's F1 slash F2. And I'll put a name here. So read PRG, let's say. So hit enter and new project is created. Then I press the ask key, the escape key from uh, my keyboard once. And then I get back to the uh, initial menu. Then I go to transfer, setup. And here I will check the configurations I have as for the serial port. So uh, things that are very important here to set is make sure that your bitrate is 19 to 100 uh, because this is what we set in the deep switches in the F1 GF1 adapter. And the word length must be eight bits. Our parity is even, stop bit one, station zero, and your port so you must set the port as the same number that you found in your uh, control panel of your virtual machine or the machine that you're using. And uh, to change any of these configurations, you just press the space bar from your keyboard. For example, here, to change the word length, if I press the space bar here, if I press once, it goes to seven. If I press it again, it goes to eight. And um, the same for all the other configurations. You just press um, the space bar several times and then uh, you move to different options you have until you reach the option that you need. So once you finish here, you just press the escape key from your keyboard. Do you, want, do you wish to save? Yes. And then I go to PLC and here select PLC to Medoc. That's this here, okay? So it's this option here. So don't use this option or you will erase your program that's inside your PLC. So don't use it. Use this option here, okay? So PLC to Medoc. So you press enter once. It will ask you if you're sure about it. You say yes. And you start to read the program that's inside your PLC. It may take from some seconds to several seconds, in my case it's completed. So I press ask again from my keyboard. I press ask again. Then next thing we will save what we just read. So we go to files and we go to save here, press enter. And now your project is saved. So if I press ask once and go to edit here, press enter, and go to ladder. Here is my program. If you want to monitor this program with the PLC that's running in the machine currently, so you just press F2, the function key from your keyboard, then you press F8. If you do that, it will start to monitor. And uh, this green Rectangles you see here means this contact is on. So in this moment, X400 is on and X401 is off because the normally closed contact is on. Okay. So if you want to just uh, get out of uh, Medoc, you just press ask. Press ask again. Once more. Once more until you get to this menu that starts with start. You go to quit, 
you select yes and press enter. So now we are out of Medoc. So that's it for this video. Um, I will cover in other videos here about how to convert your program from F2 to others, other PLCs. And also, I'll cover some tips about uh, some instructions that are not directly converted and how to do it by hand. So, that's it. So, I see you next time and thank you for seeing this video. If you have some comment, put in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.